Right, <coughs> good morning everybody, welcome to the garage. Um, this is a project I started a couple of years ago. Um, I've told you I don't do all the bikes apart from Gold Stars. I tell a, a few fibs now and again. Um, this, this is an idea for my hydraulic engine to be quite honest. Uh, I'd love to do it on a twin cylinder, so I've, I've, I've had a Daytona years ago, so I decided uh, this might be the project. So anyway, we've, we've chopped it up and moved things about. But as you can see at the minute, the uh, chain run is miles out. Um, unfor unfortunately, on a band BSA Bandit, Triumph Fury, or whichever way around, um, the frames was designed for the uh, sprocket to be on the other side, which obviously swinging arm was slightly wrong. Um, all engine mountings are wrong. So I've chopped them all out and replaced the mountings um, for the engine to get the engine in best place. Um, basically, cause I thought, well, let's start with motor first, get at it right place, modify it swinging arm to fit where I want for chain run but we've got to change the height of the swinging arm mount which i'm going to drop down probably about to three quarter of an inch to be quite honest i ain't actually measured it properly yet but that's what we're getting to um but because i'm doing the spine frame bike i've dug me i have a bit of a jig that we work off with spine frame bike so I finished up getting this bike out as well. As soon as the spine frame's done, then I'll modify it swinging arm and we can, we can crack on with this project as well. Um, obviously it's a Daytona engine, twin. Um, they're a lovely thing. Um, it's got the disc front end in. I don't particularly like that, but we might change that. Um, it's going to run a 7R seat as you see, but obviously it'll be tidied up that sort of petrol tank at the minute but we've got a lot of work on that yet one of the local kids has uh, had a lesson or two how to do a petrol tank um so i've uh, i've shown him how to make one and this is what he's made um the young mason one of the lads that pops in now and again just to come around um and he's off to, to to do his bit in the Air Force. But this is the basic bike. We've got a lot of work to do, obviously, but uh, we'll get there. I'll pull the tank off. Pull the dummy tank <coughs> and the seat. So you can just see where we are at the minute. Um, I think I've got the engine in a really nice position. I don't know whether you agree or not, but that's, uh, we've got to run it slightly to it right um, to get the chain run where I want it. And the swinging arm is where I want it. You can see the frame's been cut in half. I don't mind axoring stuff out and putting stuff back in. That ain't a problem, but it, it wants to be where you want it. And eventually, I think it'll make a really, really nice bike. Anyway, like I said, I did want to run my hydraulic valves in this engine. Um, we'll see where we get to. As, as you know, everything's a bit uh, time consuming. I might never see it done, but that's the project anyway. So, uh, thank you for looking. And we can start on something else and get out of the way. So, that's the basic project. Thank you for looking.